Also tonight, the battle for votes in East Yorkshire and Lincolnshire gets underway. Join me in our virtual studio where I'll be looking at the election battleground across Lincolnshire and East Yorkshire. The formal end of Parliament today has seen the election campaign proper get underway. Several seats in East Yorkshire and Lincolnshire will be key when it comes to deciding who will become the next Prime Minister. Campaigning in Gainsborough began with a general election launch for the Conservatives. We can expect similar for all the parties in the coming weeks as the battle for votes intensifies. Our political editor Tim Iredale has been looking at the seats which could decide who ends up in Downing Street. Here on our virtual East Yorkshire and Lincolnshire map you can see the only colours after the election of 2010 are red for Labour and blue for the Conservatives. Seats like Hull East, Hull West and Hesel and Hull North are normally safe Labour territory. But the Lib Dems came a close second in Hull North last time and Labour will defend a slim majority there. Now Hull is surrounded by traditional Tory territory, Beverley and Holderness, Holton Price and Howden and East Yorkshire. Whilst across the Humber, parts of Lincolnshire have some of the safest Conservative seats in the country. Sleaford and North Highcombe, Louth and Horncastle, Grantham and Stamford, South Holland and the Deepings and Gainsborough. So where are the battlegrounds in 2015? Well, this time around, we expect many people not to vote for the three established Westminster parties. The big question is, how well will UKIP do in May? Now, they're targeting Great Grimsby, which is traditionally a Labour seat, and the Tory seat of Boston and Skegness. And then there's Lincoln. Now, no Prime Minister in recent time has been elected without winning Lincoln, which is usually a straight scrap between the Conservatives and Labour. Which leaves Scunthorpe, which has been Labour since the 1980s. And then we have Cleethorpes and Brig and Ghoul, which the Tories snatched from Labour in 2010. And it's seats like these Labour would need to take back to form the next government. Our political editor, Tim Iredell, reporting there.